The Angolan Civil War was a conflict between multiple parties, each with their own political interests, that took place between the years 1974 to 2002. Angola had previously been in a war for independence from Portugal for 13 years before this civil war. Three parties had been involved, the MPLA, UNITA, and FNLA. They achieved independence on November 10, 1974 when they overthrew Emperor Salazar. The Portuguese quickly evacuated the country, and the resulting power vacuum launched the three factions into a large power struggle. This civil war was what is known as a proxy war, which is a war in which a country uses another country to fight the war for them. The Angolan Civil War took place amidst the Cold War and the MPLA, then being pro-communism, received support in the form of weapons and supplies from the USSR and its allies, such as Cuba. Meanwhile, UNITA was being backed up by the US government in an attempt to stop Soviet influence by any means necessary. They aided them through financial support and by providing weapons and mercenaries. When these two nations entered the war, they took the war to a grander scale by introducing a greater supply of weapons, potentially increasing the magnitude of the effects of the war on the country. The war left both short-term and long-term effects. Some of these effects were devastating. Important pieces of infrastructure such as roads, hospitals, and water pumping stations were destroyed. This led to a huge decrease in life expectancy in the country. Access to education was cut since many schools were also destroyed and many teachers were killed. Perhaps the longest lasting effect of the war is the presence of landmines in the country. The country has been demined since 2002 and it is currently estimated that the process will only end in 2025. The war definitely left negative effects over the nation but not everything was for the worse. Thanks to the efforts of the MPLA against apartheid and the Cuban troops that were backing them, South African troops were forced to withdraw from Namibia, eventually leading to that country's independence in March 21, 1990. After UNITA used Diamond's mines in Angola to pay for their weapons, the Kimberley process was established in 2003, which was meant to certify that Diamond's didn't originate from areas of conflict. Also, at the end of the war, peace had fallen over the capital city of Rwanda, which allowed an expansion in the oil industry. Now, Angola is the second largest producer of crude oil in Africa, just behind Nigeria. In the end, the Angolan Civil War had a very significant impact, not only for Angola, but the whole world. It has several negative effects on Angola, some of which are still being suffered today, but the war did bring some good changes. If it weren't for it, maybe we wouldn't have had important changes such as the Kimberley process. Regardless of this, it is very important that we learn about conflicts like these so that we can learn how to avoid them and prevent them. Created using Powtoon.